Hey guys, a very good afternoon. So as expected for the June examination, it was a bit on the tougher side, right? That is for sure. Um, the aptitude section turned out to be uh, quite difficult. I mean, there were questions which were from trigonometry or, you know, class 11th, 12th concepts, uh, especially like if you see there was a question based on vectors. Um, th like there was, there, was a, there was this question where the guy was swimming um, he had to cross the river and then, you know, there was a flow of river at 9 kilometers per hour. So those kind of questions we have done in class 11th in physics. So yes, the aptitude section was definitely tougher. Uh, coming to inorganic chemistry, it was a big surprise um, in the sense that the questions that were made, uh, you know, that were framed were very, very, uh, you know, different than what you, you generally see. So, uh, I mean, like the exam was not tough, but it was different, which made it tough and it was lengthy as well. Physical chemistry, it was like some would say um, that the questions were quite easy. Some would find it difficult. That is very subjective because uh, some questions turned out to be quite direct. And then on, on you know, on some questions, uh, you needed to know the concepts. Like, for example, if you remember, there was a question on iron dipole, like how the iron dipole, uh, iron dipole interaction varies with the radius right so those kind of questions i'm not sure everybody would have been able to attempt uh, because not everyone you know revises such formulas and uh, coming to organic organic was um i personally found it to be a bit on the easiest side and uh, i mean the questions that were coming in the exam uh, we have discussed a lot on you know i take basically organic chemistry on an academy so we have discussed those questions a lot most of those questions and uh, that's why I found, I mean, uh, two options were easy to eliminate, but then, uh, you know, you ha had this, uh, you know, you could get stuck between two options. So, yes, the two options were close, but comparatively, I, I found uh, organic chemistry to be relatively um, on the easier side. Okay, it was lengthy, but it was on the easier side. Like, for example, there was this question on, uh, uh, you know, predicting aldol condensation, Michael addition and uh, aldol reaction. So again, the question was it was simple. It's just that it was a bit lengthy to um, uh, to do, or you know, you could also find a short tick as well. So I found the organic chemistry to be a bit on the easier side, and inorganic chemistry was definitely tough in the sense that it was different. And when you when you talk about physical chemistry, it was a mixed bag. Like some might find it easy, some might find it difficult. Aptitude was definitely tougher. I, I think one of the most um, toughest aptitude um, like you know section was there in the last five six seven eight examinations uh, i mean since the time i've been giving i think this was the toughest one and uh, so i feel that the cutoff is definitely going to go low uh, but it also depends on a lot of other factors in the sense that first of all the tamil nadu paper a lot of students are going to give that so what is the level of that examination okay the, a lot of things will vary on that because i don't think they are going to normalize the marks unlike the last year uh, you know like the last year in the last year also they did not normalize the marks for the SAM sections or the students who gave the SAM paper which was comparatively tougher and so it depends whether that exam comes out to be com compa comparable to this exam easier or tougher so that is one thing on which the cutoff will vary the second thing is if they are increasing the number of seats or not because I don't think they are going to conduct the December 2020 examination so if they are not going to conduct they should you know um, increase the seats like logically they should increase the seats but i don't know whether they will do that or not so a lot of the cutoff will depend upon a lot of factors it can go high if the number of seats are not increased and uh, but if you look at the level of the examination uh, my initial impression is that the um, exam turned out to be tough which is the case with the june examination and i think the cutoff will go low but like i said there are many other factors that we need to consider uh, but uh, definitely the exam was on the tougher side um, that is what I found in the initial, you can say, screening of the exam. Rest uh, on Unacademy, I will be doing a detailed analysis for one hour. It's a free class. It's at 8 o'clock. I will give you the link in the description box. If you're uh, interested, you can come back at 8 in the uh, eight o'clock in the night and we can have a live discussion and I can answer many other queries that you might have. Hey guys, so I'm a verified educator on Unacademy. And along with that, I'm also available on the Unacademy Plus platform where I'm taking live classes along with other educators. So in case you're interested in attending the live classes, you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount. All right. And in case you're not interested in attending the live classes, you can watch the free courses that are available on the Unacademy. For that, all you need to do is go to the Unacademy website or download the Unacademy learning app 
and search my name over there that is ace haiti once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right